Hello oh, guys, thought I'd do a video on my truck. Finally got her done. Started to form on it, then kind of stop. Stuff comes in and out of that bay. Uh, so, didn't really have time to write. Was gonna write something what I did, but didn't feel like writing at all. So I thought I'd do a video instead. So, here she is, finally done. All legalized, ready to go. Look at her. Just got the exhaust in today. Simple, simple little thing down there for the tires. Simple, cheap, whatever. Here she is, all done. Yeah, look at that custom, custom. So, I think when I left off, I was making the mount down here. There it is. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go. Looks pretty good. Custom mount. Custom frame cross member right there. Made it myself. Two inch box tubing. Loaded with supports for the motor mounts. Had to cut the old mounts out of the frame. They're useless. Welded new mounts. Made new mount plates for the motor. Used first gen Dodge motor mounts. Cheapies. Recommend if you ever do this, get the poly. That's probably the next one for this is poly. Poly mounts reduce the vibration. Got a six six BT front dampener there. Kind of keeps the vibration down a little bit. But uh, six two radiator, same radiator came out. Well, not same one, new one, but same kind of radiator. Got a Dodge and a cooler in here. In the front, Dodge a cooler, got an auxiliary, well, exterior uh, trans cooler out here for the transmission. Custom made intercooler pipes. Stock turbo that came with the motor HX30. Um, transmission has behind it the 400Ls in it, but that 400 is not too happy. I think it's a torque converter not set right and gotta find a lower stall it shifts funny and doesn't like doing 55 torque converter slipping too much so gotta get a find a torque converter add a shift kit into it be nice for a manual but this is just simpler so turbo 400 you know the 62 nothing special but uh yeah so uh, i had to put a old filter relocation kit the old filter wouldn't fit frame clearance stuff like that got the old fan clutch and i got the gas or fan shroud on it this looks factory all factory look all, all the wire loom had to redo the whole wire here's the old setup right there There's probably like only two two or three wires out of that whole wiring harness that actually does anything and i think it's one is for the injection pump signal for the solenoid to stay on, same as the 6.2, and two are like powers off that junction block, the fuse box and the rest of it, garbage. And then the wipers, you know, but the rest of it doesn't do anything to this motor. So, simple, very simple, uh, first gen Dodge, power steering pump and vacuum pump, simple. Um, I got a custom pipe, I use a, Regular hoses from the 6.2, even the lower one was able actually actually fit the lower without me chopping it up But the upper one I chopped up just a little bit So uh, yeah, so custom wiring all that stuff And let's go in the truck because I did stuff to that um, Couldn't keep the idiot lights, you know, it would have been nice, but I like to you know new motor Let's see what the temps are. I got old pressure, uh, engine temp boost. Got my volt gauge in the factory spot. Also hooked up idiot light. Pretty nice. Got the idiot light off the thing. Oh, sounds quiet. Got a new blower motor in it. Um, yeah. The throttle linkage off the 6.2 actually worked perfectly. Um, 
just left the factory bracket that was on the motor and was able to turn the linkage around and fit on the clip and so uh yeah it's got the linkage from the factory and you know nothing real to it I started up for you guys and you guys can hear it look at that light there we go get that idiot light in there Work right up P-Punk Cummins came out of Frio Lay's van, or no, I'm sorry, Utz truck, came out of Utz truck, got in Hanover. That's right, Utz truck. So, that's it. Um, if you have any questions you can ask, and I'll try to get back. So I've got one battery in it right now, I'll sure fit the second battery. But, you know, all that battery will do is just does the starter and the lights. There's no accessories. You know, you guys know there's no accessories in these damn things. So, that old battery, plenty of juice. Plenty of juice to start the little motor up. So, um, the 4BT, instead of going with the 6BT, the 4BT was easier to fit in here. It was the same weight as the 6.2, just, just round. Probably just a little bit heavier in the same dimensions just about I'm sorry same dimension just about so it all kind of fit in there perfectly you know just lined hovered the engine over with the hoist and just you know marked where I wanted the mounts and then made my mounts and welded them up and sat the engine in and I kind of built around the motor and then yeah that was it well then I took the engine out and I PR the frame and underneath the body and I really did a really good job so You just set the motor in and you just kind of build around it So I mean if anyone wants to tackle something like this you have lots of money and have a, a welder and a torch and Know how to fabricate and re-engineer stuff because that's what you got to do you get you gotta fabricate and just re-engineer everything. So, but she's done. She's complete. Well, the engine part is now. I gotta tackle the transmission. Gotta figure out what's going on with that. So, if you have any questions? Just let me know, and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Like I say, I'm busy. Stuff comes in and out of here, and I got a day job, so I'm kind of in and out of the forms. And I've been in the forms lately, but. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Thanks for watching.